Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today in Microsoft Excel, I'm going to cover the mode function. The mode function finds the value that repeats itself most frequently in a data range and gives you that result. So my data is pretty easy here. I've got uh, 31 days listed over in column A, 1 through 31. Column B has the number of orders we received for that day. So the second day of the month, whatever day it is, we have two orders. The fifth day of the month, we received three orders. So I want to know what is the most frequently number of orders we receive. I'm going to go to cell E6. So when I do this function, I'm going to cover, there's three different mode functions. I'm going to do all three. I'm also going to make a pivot table so we can check the results to make sure it's right while we're going through here. If you notice the last function, when I type in equals mode, that function has a little icon next to it. That means it is a compatible function. Meaning, if you needed to share this with someone running Excel 2002 or Excel 2003, they would not see these new, fun new mode functions. You'd have to use the old one. I'm going to use it just one time anyway. And so the value of one is the value that repeats itself most frequently. Just to help us keep up with this, I'm going to use formula text so you can see what I'm doing. I should get the exact same result using the second one equals mode dot S N G L. It's telling you the same thing I just told you. And that is going to be cell B2 through B32. Same result, I hope. Sure, let's autofill this down so we have it. Now, here is the issue with the mode function. First of all, let's test to see if the number one is correct, and then I'll show you the issue. So here comes a quick pivot table. This video is actually not about pivot tables, but I'll just still walk you through this. I'm going to click over in my data, insert, pivot table. It picked up my data. Where do you want to put this? I'm going to put it in the existing file just so we can keep up with this. And I'm going to throw it over here in cell H9. Click OK. Over to the far right are my two fields. Day and order. Drag orders down to the row. There's my one, two, three through six. That looks good. Perfect. By default, in a pivot table, whenever you pull something to values, like I'm doing right here in the bottom right, if it's numeric, it'll sum it. If it's text, it will count it. So I should get a sum here. And I do, the sum of the orders. But I don't want to sum them, I want to count them. So I'm going to double click, sum of orders, and make it count, and hit OK. I should get 31, by the way. I've got 31 days. There you go. So these two answers, the number one is correct. But here is the issue with the mode function. If you notice, I've received three orders nine different days. Well, what happens when I change the number two to the number three? I'm going to refresh the pivot table to show you this. By default, those first two functions will only display the very first value if it sees. So even if I swap these, so I've got one before three, if I go three then one, it'll be three. So it's not sorting A to Z, it's just finding the very first one that repeats. I'm going to leave it like that, no big deal. So that is why we have this mode function, equals mode dot M-U-L-T, um, the most frequently occurring or repetitive values with an S, that's what I want. I should get B2 to B32, feel free to highlight it with the mouse, I don't care. I should get both the number one and the number three, and I do. And if you notice, it filled it down. The number three showed up first, no big deal. I want to point this out with that function I just did. There it is. I'm on cell E8, and there's the formula bar up top, and there's the function I used. If I click the number one, it should be grayed out. So the formula spilled down, which is really cool. Anyway, so that is how the mode function works. You honestly, you shouldn't even need this one anymore. Use these two and you're good to go. 
Thank you for your time. I wanted to keep this at five minutes and I did. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful day.